good morning and thank you for being with us this morning. I seem to be coming down with a call or something, but whatever that, that it is, God is good. We're faced with these worldly crises in Christ because, as I said in the past, God is angry with the world. Although John 8, 44, the devil is happy. That he seeks to gain more than Jesus in his world. To the simple fight. And I just want to say something brief because we're going to come back with songs that's going to motivate. It's to come out of who we are because 2019 the devil made an ultimatum with Jesus and God if I shut my church down they'll shut you in Jesus didn't have very much to say in the matter but God says Satan you want to try me one more time I believe my son loved the world and he gave his life. But I don't believe, I don't think, you know, God says I'm not in the believing business because I am, I am whether I believe it or not. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be God and I'm going to take control either way it goes. Because I give up. I take life when I get ready. All you can do, devil, is set it up. Oh, you can do Jesus is saved. But there's a world that we twix in between. Three gods. The God of heaven who created us. The God that we became in our world. And the God of hell. And with these three gods in our lives. You know, you hear people, God said, which God? Well, it ain't but one God. But everybody don't know the one God. You knew the one God, you wouldn't act like it. Because one God is like a parent. Discipline his child. Chest out. Raise him up. Train him up. In the way it should go. But we are untrained. The world today from the gun laws, abortion laws, all of the laws. And I don't think that a man should have a right to make a decision on whether a woman should carry a baby or not. I think that's her decision. Because whatever is happening in my life with my counterparts, I don't think my wife has a right to tell me that I, I need to get rid of them, I need to keep them. And I think that's an individual decision. And with the courts taking the rule and the responsibility over a lot of things, we need to go back to the Bible. Like I said, when the devil made that ultimatum, that the churches, and I'm going to say the churches, because it's not but one church, and that's the one in the Bible. There's not but one law, and that's the law of God, not the Ten Commandment law, but the law of God. The law of righteousness of a man that make a right decision in his life. What is right? Only God changed the rule. God changed the rules from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God made everything, not man. And then when he made man, he gave him dominion over how we are acting today, animal, species, and all of the other things. That's what we are controlling. And we are acting like what man created. Animals, there's no respect in the world. God said, little children, such as, why do you think God have already started taking out little children, children between 10 and 25 years of age, Killing each other like animals fighting in the wo in the woods because we disrespect God. 
The devil said, if you shut your church down, I shut mine down, they'll shut you in there. Then we get a president like Barabbas, our 2020 president, 20, I mean, 09, 08 president, they made a mistake. They went against God. And the last president we had before this, he had no respect for God. He didn't have no remorse for himself. I'm speaking of man. A wise man, a foolish man will act foolish. A wise man would be wise. That was not a wise man. Barat was not a wise man. We chose to have somebody that was not feared God to rule us, to control us, and we lost control. We lost control when we agreed to let the medical people come in and tell us that there was a plague that was out here that was going to kill all of us except them. It's like fools now. If there be a world war, they got underground bunkers, think they can be... But look how God caving in a, a foreign community Washing them out. Don't you know he'll walk that bunker out you and never get out of it? I don't want to get into whatever. I'm trying to get it salvation. All of that. God says, the only decision I want you to make, are you saved? Have you heard my son, Jesus? I don't care if you're Muslim, Jewish, Whatever you are, God said, have you heard my son? The last prophet that I sent in the world. I know your religious status don't like it. You hate him. You don't believe because you're stuck under your father's law, the Ten Commandments, and it's going to send you to hell. What did you just say, brother? Anybody that will not go along with the Bible, the devil said, you're my son. Anybody that will go along with the Bible because God wrote the Bible and God gave the commandment. God said, I sent my son to reiterate, reiterate the commandments to tell you if you follow him, I'm going to bless you. But if you don't follow Jesus, you can't get blessed. Look at the devil today. You got preachers. Women preachers should not even be out here. Preachers teach out here talking about Jesus is God. How can you substantiate that Jesus is God? God married his own mama, had sex with his own mama, and became his own son. Something ain't right there. We need to stick with the book. And now we are writing books. That books, the more you lie, the more you get paid. You tell the truth, you get embarrassed and you get ashamed. But Romans 1, 16, I'm not ashamed of the teaching of God. If God wrote it, Jesus quoted, I'm going to note it, and I'm going to tote it, and I'm going to sip what the book said. Or as Ecclesiastes 12 said, ever become many books, and they're out here now. Everybody writing a book. Everybody got a song. Everybody got a belief. Everybody got their way. But Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the light. You want to be saved, go to your Bible. Follow that man. Don't follow those men. Don't let them be bullied like the previous president demanding people 
tell him, if you don't do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. That bullying, you will see what my sign say. I will not. That bullying has got to quit. But God is going to rain down justice and mercy. Prepare yourself to meet God and die. But if you're going to die, die in Christ. Hearing his word, believing his word, repenting of your sin, confess that this man is a true man of God, being buried in the waters of baptism, washing away your sin. You don't believe in baptism. You can catch up with John 8, 44. Your father right now. Because the world is going to burn. That's a promise of God. And that promise of God. I ask you. And I beg you. Please. Let's go back. To the Bible. Because the Bible is the basic instruction. Before leaving her. God bless you and thank you. Oh, I want it.